My Mark Twain by William Dean Howells Chapter 1 It was in the little office of James T. Fields, over the bookstore of Ticknor and Fields, at 124 Tremont Street, Boston, that I first met my friend of now forty-four years, Samuel L. Clemens. Mr. Fields was then the editor of the Atlantic Monthly, and I was his proud and glad assistant, with a pretty free hand as to manuscripts, and an unmanacled command of the book notices at the end of the magazine. I wrote nearly all of them myself, and in 1869 I had written rather a long notice of a book just winning its way to universal favor. In this review I had intimated my reservations concerning the innocents abroad, but I had the luck, if not the sense, to recognize that it was such fun as we had not had before. I forget just what I said in praise of it, and it does not matter. It is enough that I praised it enough to satisfy the author. He now signified as much, and he stamped his gratitude into my memory with a story wonderfully allegorizing the situation, which the mock modesty of print forbids my repeating here. Throughout my long acquaintance with him, his graphic touch was always allowing itself a freedom which I cannot bring my fainter pencil to illustrate. He had the southwestern, the Lincolnian, the Elizabethan breath of parlance, which, I suppose, one ought not to call coarse.